Alright, today is uh, Saturday, August 6th. I'm just going to do a little update here. Uh, my aquaponics system. Uh, these are my strawberry plants. I showed these last week. They're, uh, they're growing. They're not producing very big strawberries. There's one. That's just, that's, uh, who knows? I don't know if these are meant for this kind of weather. But, uh, a couple of other things in here. Got the parsley and some chives growing over there. And then what I wanted to do today was, these are the other grow beds. I showed these last week. There isn't anything much new in there. And this is my wicking bed. I planted some some chili pepper plants last week, but those haven't come up yet. They should come up soon. If not, I'll probably have to try it again in a seeding tray. Uh, I'm afraid maybe, I don't know, maybe they've, they've rotted in, the, in here in the wicking bed. But anyway, today what I'm going to do is plant, uh, is put all these lettuce starters in my floating raft beds. And uh, pretty easy to do. Just wanted to show how to do it though. These, uh, these I get at the nursery for about a buck eighty for a tray of, of uh, 16 lettuces. And so what I do is I pull them out of these, pull them out of those uh, trays, then I dunk them, dunk the roots into this bucket to get rid of the dirt. Uh, not Some people don't do that. I've done it both uh, this way, cleaning them off before putting them in the raft bed and also putting them in the raft bed directly. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that I prefer washing them off first. Uh, it just keeps the system cleaner. So that's what I'll be doing. And uh, we'll get, should get all of these raft uh, beds filled up today. So what you do in essence is you just push these out. Well, that was a little too hard. And they they come out pretty easily just like that. You just take this over here and gently just gently swish that around. And the dirt and everything else just starts to fall off just like that. It's okay if you dunk the whole plant in there, it's not going to hurt it. It'll just wash off. Water will just come off. And you can you can squeeze the clumps that are in the roots as long as you don't damage the roots. You can damage them as little as possible. And see that there. That's okay. I mean it's Pretty clean as far as the roots are concerned, as far as the plant is concerned. Okay, that's pretty much all you got to do. I wouldn't worry about those little those little particles in there. Those weren't those those will probably just fall off inside of the when they're, once they're in the floating raft bed. Okay, so the next thing I do, there's two ways of doing this next part. You can place these in this little sponge ring, just put the plant in the middle and then put that inside the inside of the basket and the basket goes in the hole. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to put some gravel in these baskets first, then set the plant in with the the little cushion around it. That gives it a little bit more support. I'm gonna try these without the rocks today. This is faster and the plants uh, as long as the conditions are right, they'll be they'll be able to support themselves. So all you got to do is you you just open this up like that. Obviously, with both hands, it's easier, and you slip the plant in. So there, it, there it is. There's my plant, and then I just place this in the basket, there it is. The roots are dangling down there. They'll be in the water once I put the basket in the, in the bed. And I'll just put it in this first hole over there. And there's plant number one. One of the things I've found when doing this is that 
even though when you dunk the, uh, the, the plants in the water to, to wash the roots off, uh, and thereby you get water all over the, the green leafy areas, um, the plants, and sometimes when you plant them they look like this, they just look like a wet rag. Uh, I mean, I just put that in there a couple of minutes ago. Um, but I've, I found that you don't have to worry about that because very quickly the roots start absorbing water as they should and the plants perk right back up like these. These were, these looked like wet rags when I planted them just a, a few minutes ago as well. And they, they perk up pretty well. So, so these are, uh, none of these are more than, I don't think, two inches tall. And what we'll do is monitor these. Uh, they should be full-grown lettuces in about 21 days. So we'll see. I've run out of my little uh, cushion, my little cushions here. So the rest of these I'm going to do with uh, gravel. Okay, the gravel method. What you do is you, all I do is I come over here to my beds. I throw a few, a few uh, gravel rocks in here. Not too much, just about one one layer. Then set my plant in there. And then I can't show the next part because I need both hands, but then I just put a few more rocks around it to hold it up. And there it is. That's all it takes. Just needs a little bit of support. I like the cushions better because it's much faster work. Um, but I'm out of cushions, so what can I say? Okay, here's the second plant that I, I, did, I put in here with the gravel method. And I just want to show you how limp and unpromising that looks. Because in a few minutes I'm going to come back here and show you how uh, how different it looks in just a few minutes. As long as those roots are in the water, um, that plant will will look a lot better in just a, in just a short while. Okay, it's been about between five and ten minutes. Probably I'd say closer to ten. And here is that uh, same little lettuce again. And I think you can tell the difference. And I think this one will be even more amazing. This one I just put in, and that's just completely doesn't look very good at all. Well. And let's just see how that looks in about 10 minutes. Okay, almost done. Uh, here is again that that uh, lettuce we planted, uh, that one, and this one. And just look at how uh, how perked up they are already. Now, on occasion, you'll get a plant like this one. That I mean, that to me, that should probably just be thrown out. I don't think that one's gonna gonna make it. That one's been in there for a while and it hasn't hasn't gotten a whole lot better. I'll give it a, little, a few more minutes and see what happens. But there's no point in fooling yourself. Sometimes you just have to throw some out. Now I'm gonna pull this this plant out of here. Just want to show you these roots. That's what they should look like. Nice and clean. Uh, there's no algae. There's no there's nothing that appears to be growing on them. A little bit of algae there. But I'm gonna take that home. Make space for another lettuce and we're almost done with the lettuces.